Hi guys, I just wanted to quickly put this clip in um, because I found out today that this Disney cross stitch subscription has been gifted to me by a very generous friend. Oh, uh, you know, I couldn't believe it when I got the phone call. Um, yeah, they said. Um, yeah just put just say from a secret admirer so yeah that's what i've just quickly popped on to tell you guys and yeah i cannot believe it you know who you are and yes thank you to my secret admirer so generous so thank you thank you so much but uh yeah just go on to the next clip i just thought i'd put this in but thank you thank you to my generous very generous secret admirer so get over onto the other clip bye for now guys hi guys welcome back to the channel yarch crafter and as you can see i have kind of finished to go i mean i forgot to put the the back stitch around his face but yeah I'm, I'm happy enough with the way Tigger looks I'll probably uh, correct that later at some point but today oops let me just move that a little because we don't want to see the magazine hang on a minute <laughs> into trouble oh no I'm making it worse there we go there we go <laughs> I don't want to get myself into trouble so we're going to start Dumbo we're going to go through the instructions of where to position him where to start I have got a fabric pen that came in a cross stitch uh, starter kit with some hoops and flosses and and things like that so we're going to start Dumbo and find his starting point from the Harshet instructions so it says to find your starting point for Dumbo, count 38 stitches across to the right. So that way, as I'm looking at it. So 38 stitches from the centre point of the fabric. So I've got to count 38. So I already have the centre point marked here and it says 38 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 35, 36, 37, 38. So it's that square there that I've marked. Let me just check that that is straight. And I didn't go off wonky. Yes, I did go off wonky. No, yes, no, no, yes, I did. Is this fabric straight? So I'll count it again one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, that's the next row up that point there. I just went off the row. Yeah. If I line that back up again. Oops. Hmm? Yeah, it's the one above. So, 38 stitches across to the right from the centre point and 4 stitches down. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 down. The square will be your first stitch. So it's that one there. And then using three strands throughout, start at the bottom left of Dumbo's chin with the first row of his skin above the rough. So basically, the first of his skin above the rough so it's this row here so above above the rough so it's this first row here so what colour do we need Grey six. Number six is this number six? Sorry, that's my phone. Oops, I've just pulled all that out. All I want to do is check. It's got stuck to the bag. Yeah, so it's number six on there. You did see it. When it wants to focus. Come on. I really don't know what's going on with this camera. Number six. wants to focus on everything else but what I've got in my hand come on camera but yeah believe me it's number six <laughs> so let's get some of this thread off. Oops. Find the end. There we go. Pull a little bit off. Get my start kit. And we'll cut some off. Put that to the side. Need my needle thread up. Across, bring my little needle minder back in. It says three 
strands. So try and separate three strands and I just use my finger to separate them and hope it doesn't tangle up. Really doesn't want to separate, does it? side while I sort this one out because it's got knotted at the end. So let's get this other way, pull it and I do apologise for all that noise in the background that is my phone and my computer going off. So uh, in the first row of his skin above the rough stitch everything in grey row by row up the chart until you are finished the top of his head then stitch the bottom half of his body starting below the rough and working down. So, I presume we're starting, oh, I see, right, it doesn't say which is your first stitch, which end. It doesn't make that very clear the first row of his skin above the rough. So which end? Because if we do the far end is there going to be enough room for his nose? If we start with the other end, is there going to be enough room for his ear at the other side? Uh, um, I think I'm going to start the far end, I think. Yeah. Let me have a look at the full sample before that helps me. I don't know if it will or not. Right. I think. I think it's going to be the far end one that I start with, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to start the far end one. Like a lot of people said, it doesn't make the instructions clear where which stitch to start, um, yeah, I'll have ago so normally I do have this in a hoop but just for um, getting this started um, I've taken it out like I said to get this 
started. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. We've got nine. If you can't see what I'm doing, I don't think you'll be able to pick up the grey on this anyway. So, uh, hang on. One, two. threads come out. Uh, where are we? Right. Don't look at the back of my fabric. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Some of you will cringe at the back of my fabric. So avert your eyes. So, right. Where did we get? Right, so. Let me pause a second. Let me put it back in the hoop and I'll be able to show you properly. So, just give me. Oh. Sorry, give me a second. Right, I'm back. So I've got it all back in the hoop and sorted. So we said nine, didn't we? One, two, three, four, five. Having to re thread this, and I don't know why it keeps pulling out. There we go. Oh, that's that. Right. Don't know why, but we got caught. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven.
nine, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. So I want to go back up and finish that row. Right, so, yes. That's what I've got done so far. So I counted the 38 across and then what was it? Four down and that's what I marked as my starting point. But like a lot of people said, it doesn't say which end of the row to start from. So whether the furthest, you know, the beginning of it, the top of his bot, top of his row, or the other end where his other ear underneath him starts, and then his trunk out here. So I have just picked to go for the far end as my starting marker. If not, I'll just have to. Um, rip it out and start again but that's what I've decided to do and that's how I've decided to start Dumbo so I just hope that there is enough room a lot of other people have said that the border comes right up to the far side of the fabric some people have said there's not enough room to finish his ear off down here but yeah that's what i've decided to do personally so i started the far end of the row so yeah i hope that that helps some people but like i say that's what i've decided to do if it's wrong I'll just rip it out. Um, in fact, I am going to go check on the Facebook page because I think somebody's posted in there that they have had some information back from Harshet. They had a starting picture of Tigger, where to start on his foot. So I think they said they received another one of where to start Dumbo so i'll go and check over on the facebook page it's the disney stitch along facebook group um so i shall go and double check over there you know it'll be easy to just rip those first nine stitches out so i can just pick it um just pick the threads I shouldn't have to rip them or anything because I haven't put a knot on the end of my thread so that should be easy enough but I'm hoping I've started in the right place but like I say that's what I've chosen to do so right I shall let you guys get on with the rest of your day and I hope that helps um, some people so yeah i shall uh, let you guys get on with the rest of your day and i shall stop jibber jabbering so yeah um yeah <laughs> so guys remember in a world where you can be anything be kind bye guys <laughs>